Right, Friday, 2 June 2023. And today I'm going to continue with my Friday mindset talks. And today we're going to talk about why rich and wealthy Zimbabweans own property and how they do it and how you can be part of it. So, firstly, you must understand that wealthy people in Zimbabwe have got a lot of property. But the type of property they have is different from the type of property that ordinary people have got. So ordinary Zimbabweans have got a house. So someone who is in the UK has got a house, a big house. Wealthy people don't have one house. They've got multiple houses. They've got rental properties. They own hotels in Victoria Falls, in Kariba, in Nyanga. They own holiday homes. So that is wealthy people. And why do they do that? They do that for one specific purpose as an extra stream of income and as a protection against inflation. Inflation is ravaging the countries, every country that you know, United States, uh, uh, UK, South Africa, they're being ravaged by inflation. So wealthy people, they keep their wealth in property, movable assets, something that will continue to gain value while your money in the bank is losing value. So that is the first reason. The second reason is for cash flow so wealthy people they have got hotels where people come and sit and eat and sleep and pay whereas you your house is probably a mansion somewhere uh, and it doesn't generate any income so their money is also coming in from these um, rentals airbnb that is how they make money so you say oh that's little money why do they want that little money it's enough to pay their day-to-day -day bills that is why you see every wealthy person has got a hotel of some sort. Here in South Africa, every wealthy person that you know have got a club, they've got a, a place where you can come and you pay and you, you get it at 10 and then you go home. So those are the two types of properties that they have, store value and cash flow. And then I want to go into how they get money to buy the properties. There is no wealthy person who's going to take his own money and buy a property forget it they never do that so wealthy zimbabweans they go to the bank and they get a loan a loan that you will never get and then they use that money to buy a property whereas you as an ordinary person you're going to struggle for years gathering money and then you, you try to build a house by the time you're done you're almost dead or you're dead <laughs> right so you, you get it so that's how it is wealthy people never use their money to uh, buy property, wealthy Zimbabweans especially. They use other people's money, they use banks, and inflation ravages that lot. So they get their loan in Zim dollars. And then after that, when they pay, it's very little. Someone who took a loan uh, two years ago, right now they can pay it in one swipe because of inflation. They get it because of their network, because of the connection. And you don't have that network, you don't have that connection. You get it, right? So now let's go to number three. I don't wanna laugh at you. I'm just uh, trying to explain to you. Uh, now let's go to number three what should you do what is other people's money if you don't have a network you cannot get it in the bank so if you're a Zimbabwean there is something called crowdfunding this is the model that we've been using where you come together with other people you only put a small amount of money and then you, you get your property so this will allow you to become part of the property business uh, and that is the only way right now if you don't have that network you need to get together with other people get together with people that you know combine your money if you've got 1000 combine it with another person who's got 1000 if there's 100 of you you've got 100000 you buy a farm and then you're in the property business so hear me clearly if you're not in the property business you cannot create work it's not possible that is the one area that you need to be in that is an investment that you need to be part of and no matter what you say this is a fact because wealthy people are never wrong. You are the one who's wrong because you're not wealthy. A wealthy person cannot be wrong. You are the one who's wrong. If you do not follow what the wealthy people do, you're gonna struggle. Now, I want to conclude and, <laughs> okay. Let's look at what we're planning to do. Uh, what we're planning to do is on top of all the projects that we've been doing, we are going to be launching 1,000 bachelor, one bedroom, two bedroom and three bedroom apartments in Harare as a group funding uh, initiative for the diaspora, Zimbabwe diaspora. 
I'm going to be giving more information. We're going to be having a desk in Harare very, very soon. I'll let you know how it's going to work. But be part of it. Keep watching this channel every Friday, every day. Keep thinking about property. There is no other way of creating wealth. And there's no other way you can do it without working with other people. So very, very soon, I'm going to make that announcement. 1,000 bachelor, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom units as a group funding initiative. That's over 1 billion. We're going to do this. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll be back every week. I'm really enjoying myself. There's a big, big development happening very, very soon. I'll be letting you know about it. I'm also going to be moving and I'll let you know where I'm going to be moving to. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the weekend.